Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, for those who don't know, I am Wikihi, creator of Minecraft 7x7, and this is just to show you what's in it. Uh, I am in a demo world. Uh, this world contains pretty much every single block in the game, and I made every single block 7x7. So you've got all your walls, all your woods, your building blocks, stones, grass, even sponges, oops, which no one uses. You may use it. Redstone items. Uh, even got your liquids. Uh, chests are done. Here's your chests. I've also done ender chests and trap chests. Here's your ender chest. And portal frames, and even the book on the enchanting tables, all 7x7. Seven seven. This took a very long time, uh, about uh, maybe two months. Uh, I've also done entities such as minecarts, boats, rails, they're all working. Now, here's what every item looks like. Uh, materials, brewing, potions, combat, tools, foodstuffs, miscellaneous, transportation, redstone, and decoration blocks. So, all your... Oh, by the way, zombie heads and mob heads are 9x9, uh, nine nine just because of how bad they would look if I made them 7x7. Seven seven. I wasn't going to go there. Okay, so why should you download Primecraft instead of just using default? Uh, the biggest thing I think of why people download it is that it gives you a slight frame increase. Um, it's very small, but it is noticeable. I think I I get just a couple more frames, and when you're hovering around, you know, twenty, uh, just two or three frames does make a difference. Also, if you make let's plays and Minecraft videos, it makes it more comfortable for the viewers. No one likes watching jittery videos, and uh, I find that it just makes it so much easier to play. When, you, when you're trying to record fighting or whatever, and you aren't getting 10 frames per second. I think this is because each pixel takes up a much larger area on your screen. Well, approximately four times the area. Then your video editing, or your video whatever, recording software, doesn't need to save as many different kinds of colors. So, you see this bit here? All that is one color, whereas in default, it could be five or six different colors. And that just takes a load off your compression. So please give it a go. I would appreciate it if you downloaded. I also have my own personal version called Primecraft 7x7 Custom. And it contains several uh, improvements, you may call them. But... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.